Was it foreseeable that artificial intelligence would now begin to solve the unsolved mysteries of the universe? What could be more obvious than combining the superintelligence of modern quantum computers with the capabilities of AI to close gaps in our knowledge? A new study shows that this technology is already a reality. Using quantum AI to analyze the location of Planet 9 with more than 97% probability. Imagine an age in which quantum computers solve all the major gaps in our knowledge, research, and problems. We don't know how the universe really came into being. Since the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope, old theories such as the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe have been put to the test. We also don't really know what the universe is in its entirety because we can only see a part of it and we are looking from a very limited perspective. Researchers believe that there is another large planet in our solar system. Planet 9 is thought to be located far beyond the orbit of Neptune and Pluto, revolving around the Sun in such darkness and distance that even our best telescopes have not yet been able to locate it. All these unanswered questions are now to be solved by quantum AI analysis. Astronomy has long been using computers and algorithms to fully unlock the secrets of the universe. Observations and data have been moving in such fine spaces for so long that it would never be possible for researchers to search through the enormous data sets sent by telescopes and space probes with the naked eye and analog analysis. Instead, finely tuned parameters have long been searching for specific matches and peculiarities. The world of research is digital, but we are reaching the limits of these capabilities. Now, the quantum age has begun and initial quantum analyses are revealing incredible things. The universe could be completely different from what we imagined, and the discovery of Planet 9 should be possible in a very short time with the help of new technologies. The true position of Planet 9 has been located with 97.2% accuracy. It's probably hard to believe how much data the JWST delivers every day. The digital observation results provide hundreds of thousands of data sets from all possible areas of the universe every day. Researchers analyze the early stages of the universe by capturing the oldest light with the telescope. The telescope's spectrometers then provide an initial evaluation of the data. Computers in the researchers' laboratories perform future analyses, and in some cases, the data sets go through 10 to 20 filters to extract the information the scientists are looking for. The JWST has another special feature. The best space telescope currently in existence can also scan our own solar system in a unique way and has already delivered impressive new images of planets such as Saturn and Jupiter. Now, researchers have come up with the idea of searching the data sets provided by the JWST from our solar system for clues about Planet 9. However, previous filtering methods are not sufficient, so the idea arose to combine the telescope's data with quantum AI. The new technology is called quantum AI analysis, and in an initial simulation, a quantum AI searched through large JWST datasets for 72 hours. Quantum computers use all known probabilities and entanglements to recognize patterns in data. The focus was on isolating recurring, slow movements in the Kuiper Belt region. The starting point was older research in the region, which showed that some Kuiper Belt objects have such a highly centered orbit that another large object could be present, Planet 9. The AI analysis discovered gravitational anomalies and infrared signatures that provide real new evidence for the planet's existence. In the researchers' current theories and model calculations, Planet 9 is an object with 5 to 10 Earth masses and is thought to be a gas or ice giant. Due to its extremely elliptical orbit far out in the solar system, the planet could orbit the Sun with a period of tens of thousands of years or more. Its presence, gravity, and the curvature of its orbit would be one explanation for the unusually aligned orbits of trans-Neptunian objects. The existence of the planet was first proposed in 2016 by astronomers from the Caltech project. Among the pioneers of the Planet 9 theory is the well-known Kuiper Belt researcher, Dr. Mike Brown. The results of the AI simulation were eagerly awaited by all researchers. After all, these results could completely change our research. Once quantum intelligences have successfully solved a problem, 
Their ability to find future solutions multiplies almost infinitely. The quantum-based computing model fully confirmed the researchers' expectations. In this pioneering project, AI was able to determine the position of Planet 9 with an accuracy of 0.3 degrees and a probability of 97.2%. The artificial intelligence independently used a combination of light patterns, gravitational influences, and infrared values as the basis for its localization. But where does this unusual planet come from? A large planet beyond Neptune and Pluto contradicts some of the rules of our solar system. But here too, AI was able to calculate probabilities that provided answers as to what this planet really is. The object could be a captured rogue planet. This type of planet wanders through the universe without being bound to a star until, under certain circumstances, it is attracted and bound by a star. The reason why our Sun is able to hold a planet of this size in a distant orbit is 100% due to its composition and density. Here too, AI has struck again and developed possible scenarios. The calculations provide exact results as to what such a planet must be like in order to be held in orbit. The analyses show possible distributions of elements, gases, and variations in the core. The result is more than 1,000 faces of the possible planet, but AI wouldn't be AI if it couldn't make a reliable statement here too. Combined with quantum intelligence, these systems have a completely different level of performance than the artificial intelligence you are already familiar with today. Chats and image editing programs that use artificial intelligence still work in the normal sector today on the basis of computer chips that use the storage capacity of minerals. For a long time, the water chip was considered the technology of the future. But now, quantum technology has come into play even faster. Light particles are considered the fastest known computers and the knowledge storage devices with the longest range. NASA is holding back for now internal discussions are ongoing. Now, we might think that NASA and the scientific community at large would be enthusiastic about these results, but that is not the case at the moment. Insiders report behind closed doors that NASA is downright afraid of free quantum computing. We're currently in a situation where science is undergoing radical change. Conventional methods are increasingly reaching their limits, but we're dealing with an establishment in science and at NASA. Entrenched structures do not like change, and quantum AIs could break these structures down completely. Now, of course, you could say, hold on, didn't NASA finance most of the James Webb Telescope and thus initiate the change? Yes and no. NASA naturally hoped that the telescope would confirm old theories. They were almost certain they were right, so there was little risk in launching the project. It's not that conservative scientists and NASA are strictly opposed to progress. Ultimately, no one really knows how the universe began, and no one knows whether Planet Nine really exists. These long-established and often entrenched forces just don't like it when they are not confirmed. The JWST has already set new standards with its shocking images from the early days of the universe. Now, simulations with quantum AI are dealing another blow to the traditional scientific system. In light of such results, the old structures could collapse. And is it any wonder that these entrenched branches of science, NASA, and stubborn researchers often reject the world of quantum physics? It allows for too many possibilities, is too fast, too unpredictable, and possibly too good when it comes to truly solving the open mysteries of science. What else could quantum intelligences solve in the future? Here we can let our imaginations run wild. Quantum AIs could, for example, discover the true dimensions of the universe, tell us whether there really is a multiverse, and reliable structures within these systems. They could reveal the blueprint to us, or at least give us hot tips on where to look. How do these intelligences do that? Quantum computers have the property of using a suprasystem instead of a binary system of zeros and ones. The quantum is zero and one at the same time, and thus has all the positions that a conventional computer can occupy one after the other in a given time at its disposal in one fell swoop. This makes quantum computers more than a thousand times faster and more powerful than conventional computers. 
combined with super learning artificial intelligence. This can develop so quickly that all probabilities are compared in a matter of seconds, and a truth emerges as the middle ground between these probabilities, with a reliability close to 100%. Would you like to know why computers cannot deliver 100% certainty? The answer is simple, because they are programmed and controlled by humans who, let's say, are not quite so smart. There is a lot we simply do not know, and so our technologies will always have certain weaknesses. Quantum intelligence could eventually compensate for these weaknesses, for better or for worse, and offer new truths to uninformed operators. In many a science fiction brain, there are structures that say quantum intelligence could become evil and turn against humans. Rationalists and open-minded researchers, on the other hand, say that's nonsense because machines and their performance are built and trained to help us, not to fight us. However, scenarios are also possible in which quantum computers and paired artificial intelligences have to convey truths to us that are difficult for us to accept at our current level of knowledge. Imagine that our universe actually has a meaning and a structure that we simply cannot comprehend. To arrive at the truth, several structures would have to be overcome. Then, true artificial intelligence would find a language and a way to communicate new truths in such a way that a scientist of the 21st century could understand them and, thanks to the information, move at least a little further forward. Subscribe now and be there for every new video.